Power Animal Meditation. Make sure you're seated comfortably with your feet flat on the ground or in a meditative position. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to take four deep breaths in and with each breath you're going to release that breath to the count of four. So inhale in. One, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three, four, breathe in. One, two, three, four, last time, breathe in. One, two, three, four. Let go of any anxiety about the future or worries from the past. You don't need them in this space. There's only you at this perfect moment. If a random thought comes to you, try not to engage with it. Allow it to flow through your mind and away from you. As you relax, you find yourself growing lighter and lighter. The surroundings seem to fade and you are wrapped in the warm, dark cloak of your own energy and mind. You are safe and you are comfortable. In your mind's eye, you begin to see a soft light and slowly the view opens. You find yourself at the edge of a crystalline pool of water. The sky above is blue and there's a soft haze on the distant horizon. Above you, the sun and the moon can be seen together in the sky. You're not quite sure if it's dusk or dawn, but you know it is one of those powerful between times, a time in which there is the thinning of the veils between the physical and the spiritual worlds. To your right, at the end of the pool, there's a waterfall. You can feel the spray from this waterfall and it's cool and misty on your face. Where the waterfall touches the pool, the water ripples outward, distorting all reflections. It gives the area a surreal appearance. You look about you at the green grasses and the distant trees and everything is silent. It is as if nature is in a state of quiet anticipation. Now you look back at the waterfall and you notice it's kind of a dark area behind it. You move toward it. And as you stand close to the waterfall, you see a cave half concealed behind it. You step carefully behind the You step carefully behind it and you enter a muted darkness of the inner cave. You are surprised because it's illuminated with soft torches. You glance over your shoulder to the area beyond the waterfall and then you walk further into the cave. It is warm and comfortable as it first appeared. And as you step further in toward the back of the tunnel, you feel a slight giddiness and a soft childlike laugh slips out. For the first time in a long time, you feel like a child about to open and explore a wondrous treasure in a new world. You step from the outer chamber onto a path of the tunnel and you begin to follow it slowly. It's well lit. You're not at all uncomfortable. When you reach your hand out, you touch the walls of the cave with your hands and you're surprised at the warmth. It's as if you could feel the lifeblood of the earth itself flowing through the walls. As you move further along, the tunnel widens and grows taller. The torches are fewer and fairer and more distant, but you notice that it seems to be getting lighter, even still. 
Then you pass a couple of torches that aren't even lit, and you stop and you touch them just to confirm that they have not recently gone out. And your head raise, you raise your head up, and you see in the distance the reason why it's getting lighter and lighter. The tunnel has widened so greatly that the sun is able to penetrate almost 50 yards back into the cave where you are. You can see beyond the tunnel now. There's a distant river and lush green grass and the sunlight sparkles off of it as if it were the sun on the morning dew. Across the field is the edge of a rich, deep green forest. You pause only a moment, then you run the last 50 feet, 50, 50 yards, and burst from the tunnel into the warm sunlight of this beautiful meadow. The sun is warm upon your face and the grass is soft beneath your feet. Your nose is teased with the fragrance of honey and spring wildflowers. And the air is sweet, so you tilt your head back and you stretch your arms wide and you spin and swirl and laugh at the beauty and the lightness of this meadow. Next to the river is a large, ancient oak tree. Surrounding it is the greenest and most lush grass you've ever seen. You run to it and sit down. The grass is so soft. You lay out and stretch your arms, and then you roll in the softness of the grass and inhale its sweetness. As you're rolling, your foot hits something, so you sit up. Next to the tree is a stone. It's shaped as if it were carved into a beautiful chair. Very ornate, it swirls and scrolling. You get up and you walk over to the chair. You sit down upon it and as you do, you find that it fits you perfectly. It makes you giggle. You breathe deeply and from this chair you look about. It's quiet, it's peaceful. And you know that this meadow is a place where wildlife surely must come. And for a moment, you envy the animals and the birds and the fishes for having such a beautiful place to live. As you're sitting in the chair, it is as if each breath you breathe, you become more and more a part of this beautiful place. And it becomes more a part of you. And suddenly, you see movement out of the corner of your eye. Your breath catches. It's at the edge of the forest where, where it meets the water of the river. You hold your breath. Maybe you'll get to see some wildlife. Then from among the trees comes movement. It may soar above you or ripple in the water or it may step out into the meadow. But you sit still, watching as the animal your animal, your animal guy, appears in your vision. Don't force it. Allow it to show itself to you. And as it does, you lock eyes. You've seen each other before. time to ask your spirit animal whatever you want to ask them. If you wish to go on a journey with them, ask. They'll take you. If you have a question that needs answering, ask and be open to their answer. Remember, it's not going to be a blatant answer. They're not going to speak to you in human voice. They're going to show you things. Those things you need to interpret for yourself. If you wish to go further and astral project with your um, animal guide, this is not the complete recording for that. Um, 
if you want to do that, you're going to have to meet with me first. Okay? All right. Have a blessed day. I hope you uh, had a good time with your spirit animal. Animal guide, power animal, however you want to say it. Blessed be.